This is the future. is the future. Well, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And this is Minecraft episode 9. And in this episode, I actually combined two recordings into one because I'm trying to push this castle to get it done, you know. Um, on the new Minecraft that I'm playing now with the so much better graphics and everything I really want to show you guys what I've done there already So uh, I'm feeling like this is taking too long. So I'm, I'm pushing it a bit so um, in this video I have completed the castle towers the castle battlements and also opened up all the bedrooms um, for the castle so uh, let's check it out. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. As you guys can see here, here is the completed external of the castle. Um, as far as I went up to the stage, mind you, there's still some things that's going to change. And uh, at this point I thought to myself, you know what, I forgot the barracks. We need a place for the soldiers to sleep and obviously I cannot have one small room. And uh, I only actually um, made place for five soldiers. So um, I was looking for a place where to build this barracks and then I thought to myself, what better place than underneath this bridge? I mean, this whole section here is wasted. So I decided to convert this whole section into the barracks. I don't want to bore you guys with most of the details, so I'm skipping or cutting out a lot of the building process. But there we go, there's one barracks kind of done. The next uh, step was to open up an entryway or doorway that goes from inside the castle into the barracks. And um, I also wanted to make an armory, but the room that I had planned on for the armory was a bit too small. So I had to make a bit of a different change, which I will tell you guys when we do the final walkthrough of the castle. Um, but yeah, basically, if something happens, the soldiers go out here, then they can go up there to board the battlements, or they can go straight into the armory and straight into the rest of the castle. And this is where they will sleep. So yeah, this is a very small, very small <laughs> barracks. Um, but yeah, that's how far I got. At least there I put in the bed so long. And uh, I also realized that I had to shift the entire hallway. It was too far to the right, so I had to move the whole thing to the left. So that also took a while. I also um, then afterwards proceeded just to exchange sand for stone, the rock for stone and so on. So the only thing I did further was to basically you know, swap everything out for stone to make it look like the rest of the castle. The time finally came to actually start opening up the bedrooms and also finding out how to build the floors because I was too close to the, to the throne room and I had to lift the floors and 
There was a lot of modifications that had to be done to get the rooms actually in the right spaces. And also as I was building the rooms, I would go out of the mountain and I had to improvise a little bit with what I wanted to do um, with the actual rooms. So here is our first room. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this was to become the kitchen. This room is joining up with the barracks and that's why I decided to make this the armory. But like I said, the place was a bit small so it didn't turn out to be exactly what I wanted it to be but it was still a place for the soldiers to basically gather and get out if they needed to get out mind you this was the only entrance in and out of the barracks the next room that I'm opening up here is going to turn out into the library yes my castle has a library also not a very big one but we've got a library <laughs> There we go, library complete. Um, let me know guys in the comments whether you would like to see the next project as a completed project just with like a walkthrough or do you want to see the process or the place being built like this process you know piece by piece. This next room is going to turn into a guest bedroom. There we go, one guest bedroom done. After quite a lot of time, I finished converting the second hallway into a castle stone and the steps and uh, so on. And then I proceeded to begin with the next bedroom or the next room. The next room that I started was here in the corner. It was going to turn out to be a casual, how can I call this? Afrikaans is um, A place where the ladies or the queens or the princesses can sit and have tea and do needlework or whatever they like to do to relax while sitting in the sun. Because this room was the first room that I built that has a glass ceiling and it's mostly glass. Um, to let the sunlight in and for you to be able to sit in safety and look at the nature around you and relax It's just like a relaxed room and uh, That's something I actually always wanted to have Thanks to this one story that I watched when I was a child where um, the character had a glass window in her kitchen and She was able to look at the stars while she was cooking and uh, one of my well my brother-in-law at the moment has a roof like that in his house. He's got a, a, a glass roof over his bed so when he sleeps at night he can look at the stars or if it rains he can look at the rain falling. And I think that's quite a unique experience and that's why in my room in the king's bedroom I also changed the whole roof into a glass roof and that's basically what it looks like. Nice glass enclosured roof a room with a glass roof and uh, of course I had to make some modifications um, it didn't stay the same for long okay next up was the two bedrooms for the boys Next up was my room and where to put my room. So 
So I decided to build my room right at the end of the castle on its own specific um, side of the castle and uh, make this quite a nice big room. I decided to extend my room outwards and make it part of the secondary bar or part of the walls, part of the battlement walls. So here's my glass roof and I just um, proceeded to turn everything back into stone when I finished my um, bedroom. So my bedroom has got an entrance and then it's got like a little sitting room area where you can sit and maybe get dressed or whatever you want to do, have a cup of tea or whatever the idea is. And then you've got your bed here at the top end of the bedroom. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. Remember if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified of future uploads. So until next time, have a good one and please whatever you do keep it safe. Cheers.